A really common question that I've been getting a lot lately is how much is my property worth? And that's a really good question, especially when you're looking at maybe tapping the equity in your home, lowering the interest rate on your mortgage, or doing anything else with your property. So in today's full lesson, I'm gonna dig in with you to some specific websites you can use, some strategies that you can utilize on your own without actually getting a full appraisal of your home to give you an idea of what your property is worth. Hi, it's Robert Weinberg, and on this channel, we empower people to take control of their futures through expert mortgage and financial strategies. In today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about tools that you can utilize to find out how much your home is actually worth. And there are several different tools you can use, some websites. These websites are realtor.com, trulia.com, zillow.com, and redfin.com. And I don't think any one of these websites is actually very good by itself, but if you use it as part of an overall strategy to see what your home is worth, with the other ones, it can actually give you a good idea. So what I want you to do is, go to each one of these websites, look at the data on your property, make sure the square footage is accurate, the bedroom and bathroom count is right, the year built and any upgrades that you've done and amenities are listed. Then I, I want you to write down each of the values that these websites give you and you can use an average of these three or four values in order to get a good comfortability of what your property might be worth. And that can really be a good thing. But what you don't want to do is just go to one website like Zillow and say, oh, it says my home is 400000 and that's what it's worth. If all of the sites have a very similar value of your home, then that's probably a good indication that it would be a pretty accurate number. Now, if it's not correct on the bedroom, bathroom count or whatnot, you can typically um, claim the property as your own and make adjustments to it. Even though it may take a little bit of time to go into effect, you may actually be able to make those adjustments and come back in a couple of days or a week or two and see that your home value has changed based on the adjustments that you've made. What I really recommend is that you use something like a HomeBot report. Now what HomeBot is, is it's a tool that you can get through your trusted mortgage advisor or a realtor and it will actually allow you to see and get a report every single month on your home value. Now what makes it different than these other sites is HomeBot uses uh, data from a company called Black Knight. And Black Knight is a data analytics company that has real estate data from all over the country that it's constantly updating. And I found that the data that is received through Black Knight and is shown on a HomeBot report can be much, much more accurate than these other websites. So we're gonna put a link down in the description here where you can actually go and sign up for a free HomeBot report with me as your sponsor, no obligation, no cost, and you can see exactly what your property is worth according to HomeBot and get that monthly report. The other cool thing about HomeBot is that it will give you a report, not only of the home value, but also refinancing ideas or strategies that you could be using to lower your interest rate, tap equity and whatnot. It'll show you how much you could save by uh, actually going forward with a refinance or a new mortgage. And I'll show you an example of one here just in a minute. But it goes without saying that a full appraisal of your home is really the only 100% accurate way for you to know what a property that you have is worth. And a full appraisal is going to entail paying anywhere from three to five hundred dollars for a single family and five to eight hundred dollars for a multifamily home. Having an appraiser come out, go through your home top to bottom and double check all the amenities and make note of any upgrades that you've done, giving you full credit for what's actually going on in your home. Any of these other things we've talked about could not have one or several of the upgrades or amenities, they may have some incorrect data and it may not give you the full value of what your property is actually worth. So something to keep in mind. Now let me go over here and show you the HomeBot report. So this is an example HomeBot report here that you have on your screen, uh, just for one of my clients. It shows the estimated value of your home here. And it's also showing them that a 30 year refi could save around $166 a month. It's showing some information on the current mortgage, uh, how much it would save you by going to a 25 year loan, uh, what it would cost to go to a 15 year loan. Like in this case, their payment would go up by almost $400. Um, it also gives you ideas on paying extra on principal. So you could say, what happens if I pay an extra 300 per month on my principal? How much you'd save. 
and some ideas for refinancing and buying other properties here, some real wealth building uh, tips. You can put questions in here for your lender that they can get answered for you and gives you other ideas on different things that you could use with the equity in your home. Also Airbnb, how much money could you earn with Airbnb? Uh, gives you some ideas with that if you are someone that's looking to rent out rooms in your home. So you can see a HomeBot report can really be a great tool for you to use along with these other things to see what your home is worth on a one-off basis as well as on an ongoing basis. So I hope that this has been of value to you. If you want to sign up for your HomeBot report, go ahead and click the link below. If it's your first time watching us, please click subscribe and also hit the bell so you get notified on all of our future content. If you'd like my help or have any questions regarding your mortgage or for anyone that you know, feel free to reach out to me. You can contact me via social media private message or call or text my office directly. Hope that helps and we'll talk to you soon.